The next person I'd like to bring up here is the director of the Canadian Hindu Advocacy. He advocates and they advocate for Canadian values and a Canada First agenda. Please give a warm welcome to our Hindu community with Ron Banerjee! Thank you, folks. I have some bad news to tell you, folks, unfortunately. Our country is sliding towards fascism. We have business owners who are imprisoned and locked up just for trying to earn a living. We have a woman on a beach walking along a Pickering beach. She got fined just for walking her dog alone on an empty beach. We have religious leaders that are forbidden to preach to their flock in an open field in Manitoba. And reigning over this slide into crypto-fascism is the fascist-in-chief himself, Justin Trudeau in Ottawa. This crypto-fascist doesn't give a hoot about our country or about Canadians. Instead, all he tries to do is to divide people. You want to hear about his antics this week? This week, Justin Trudeau created a diplomatic incident. He stuck his nose into the internal affairs of another country and he lectured the world's largest democracy, the Republic of India, and he told the people of India, or the government of India, he told them, you must allow protests in your streets. <laughs> now, let me tell you about the largest democracy on the planet. They have large-scale protests right now over an internal issue, and they are allowing the protests to go freely. Not only that, the nation of India has beaten back this virus. Lowest case fatality rates, lowest spread, lowest number of active cases per capita. And you know how they've done it? They haven't done it by shutting down the economy. They haven't done it by shutting people's livelihoods out of existence. They have done it by boosting the people's immune system. They have done it by encouraging practices, traditional Hindu practices like yoga and meditation and veganism. And this is the guy that Justin Trudeau lectured. But do you know why he lectured India? Do you know why he did it? To divide Canadians. Because he's a hypocrite and he was catering to a specific ethno-religious community here in Canada. That being the radical Sikh community here. He is trying to divide us. He is trying to destroy this country. That crypto-fascist in Ottawa must be removed from office. We must use Canadian law to make sure that this man gets locked up eventually. Lock him up! 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 Lock up the turd! 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 And finally, I am going to conclude. I am going to conclude by praising and encouraging us to stand with our international allies 
and our well-wisher, specifically the Hindu nationalist heroic government of Modi in the Republic of India. And let's, let's give a shout out to the Prime Minister of India. Let me tell you one final story. When Justin Trudeau went to India last time, they treated him like garbage. They treated him. His wife was caught in a picture with a convicted Sikh Khalistan terrorist. What kind of a prime minister do we have, folks? We have a crypto fascist that's trying to take away all our freedoms here in Canada. We have a guy who hobnobs with convicted terrorists. What the hell have we elected here? Lock him up! 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 There you go, folks. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish by repeating the words that the Prime Minister of India unofficially told Justin Trudeau, never, ever, ever come back to this country again. Yeah! Why can't we tell him that? Yeah! So let's finish with a shout out to our democratic anal ally, Modi, 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 Modi. Modi, 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 Modi.